guys welcome back to my channel vibing after dark underscore with mo and if you're new to my channel how about hit that subscribe button and if you're returning subscriber how about send it to a family or a friend so they can vibe out with us and please 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 make sure you like this video that helps out a lot and thanks in advance all right you guys so as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail we are going to be talking about chris sean and her legal matters from her court date to james Wright chanel suing chris sean then we're going to be talking about chastity Take it to her Instagram to explain her side of what's been going on with the siblings and the mother. Okay, so let's jump straight into the video. And the first thing I want to get into is Chris Sean. She had a court date a few days ago. And her new attorney was requesting that they do a continuance. And the judge granted that. So it's a K. Morris CR, Judge Gardner presiding, George Thorpe present for the state, Attorney Mac Martin presented by phone. By agreement, cases continue on their revocation, DKT to 11-8-24 at 10.30 a.m. So her court date was postponed to basically another month from now. A little less than a month, but it's not until next month, as you can see. But Krishan is not really off the hook yet because James Wright seemingly is suing Krishan for $138,000. And shout out to Corey Lombardi. For providing the documents. And so it said, I couldn't even go to the grocery store or into the public without hiding my identity. Which is why I be loved by so many people. During my recovery, I had to take a leave of absence from work. Losing thousands of dollars in wages. The dental bills and the therapy alone are overwhelming. Not only are those appointments expensive, but they take up my time in every week. Today, I still think about this incident and how it has impacted my life. The fact that she has invaded this court and denied responsibility for her actions makes me even more upset and prolongs my healing. I experience flashbacks and sometimes have a panic attack. I don't know when I will be the same again, but it's quite possible I've changed forever. I ask the court to consider the full impact of this account has had on my life and hold on defendant accountable. Amount requested. The damages was $71,400, pain and suffering, $50,000, service of process, $1,656, attorney fees was $15,000, administrative costs, $450, today, $138,506 is the amount of money that he have to be kicking out. And then he showed a whole list of his therapy sessions, the days, the dates, and the amount it costs. So Krishan posted to her Twitter like a few days ago and she said, My Twitter been hacked since I've been locked up. I just tried deleting other devices. Like how in the world do it? I keep seeing stuff tweeted and liked I never tweeted nor liked them. I keep unfollowing pages I never followed. So I do believe her page got hacked while she was in jail because it was a point in time that she was saying a lot of negative things about James Wright and it was subliminal. But if it wasn't her, it wasn't her. So the last thing I want to move into is Chastity. So Chastity went on her Instagram and I guess she's getting a lot of DMs with people saying like what happened to her why she's not on baddies. And she came and said she don't want to be on baddies because she felt like baddies had split her two sisters up from each other. And she's about love but it sounds like she's getting tired of trying to keep the family together. And she also spoke on if whoever was doing her wrong she did not hold any grudges and things like that. But she said if she was that type of person, she got a lot of stuff that she could tell to make people not like the other siblings. But she won't be doing that. So then she posted on her Instagram story and she said, Real family don't compete or compare real, do real S, and fake do F S. I said what I said is corny as F. So then she said, If I have to bash the next sibling on TV just to get on, I don't want it to be that way. I'm cut from a different cloth. I'm not with the evil S. I don't take sides and I don't turn my back on my family. I get turned on if anything. Well, y'all stay at my DMs with the questions. No one can pay me to get on TV to talk down on any of my sisters and brothers. I'm just not that kind of person. I really love, I really care, and I want us back to one. But we all have to want it, not just me. So then she put this long paragraph in the caption. I'm not going to read it all because as you can see, that is super long and small. But I did skim through it before I did this video. And she basically was seeming like she throwing shade at a good bit of her sisters, which 
I feel like maybe Krishan, maybe to see not to Siki, but maybe Krishan, maybe Tessa, and maybe Terrain. Because even at the first sentence, she was like, I may not go to church like I should or be online praying and reading the Bible every day, all day. And y'all know that's what Tessa, Terrain, and Krishan do constantly talk about God and things like that. She does mention it inside the video that I'm about to play, y'all. That's another reason why I didn't read all of this because she basically saying the same stuff in that video. But what I gather from it all is, like I said, some people was DMing her about going on baddies. And she don't want to do that. And also what I got from it is she throwing a little bit of shade at some of her eldest siblings at the same time of wanting them to come together. And she just feels some type of way because sound like Tzatziki and Krishan, when she said she left them, was on good terms. But then something went left again. So they're not now. And she tired of trying to put them together and they don't seem to want it. So she's over it. So here's that video, and y'all let me know what y'all think about it all in the comment section. People, let's keep saying baddies, baddies. First of all, baddies, baddies is not my cup of tea. You see the fuck shit that baddies, baddies did to my family? I'm not a press bitch for fame. Listen, I've been a hood star all my life. My name is Free Bands. Fuck the band lady. It became the band lady because when I was in prison, I bought mommy another house from jail. So Mookie and Tareen changed it from Free Bands to the band lady. I've been a celebrity in the in the city, in the streets. I don't care for that. All that fame shit. You know what I care about? Wealth. Unity. Love. Peace. Family. Fame is not on my list. I don't want to be famous. I want the fucking money. I've been selling dope all my life, my nigga. I don't do that shit no more. I really changed. So shit is... It's kind of hard adapting to not doing the wrong thing anymore and trying to do the right thing. But I'm doing this shit. But I'm not going on TV. I'm not going on TV to fight this sister or to bash this sister or any of that corny shit. That shit is corny as fuck to me. Listen, I got paid. I got flew out to sit down with my sisters so they don't fight. It was never for me to go with Sean and be against Tifa. I don't fucking rock like that. Okay, I'm coming in with Sean, but guess what? I'm with Sean and Tifa. Yeah, I'm ready to eat these other bitches. I wasn't planning on, I'm going with Sean to fight Tifa. Or I'm going with Latifa to fight Sean. Corny, cornball. I'm not a cornball. I'm not a shitball. I'm not a meatball. I'm a real nigga. So stop playing with me. And if I got to talk about the Nexus, the bag to get on, I don't want that shit. You feel me? That's not me. Me, I'm all love, baby. I want us all to eat. You know what the fuck I was doing on the scene of baddies? Whatever, Woody, what is it? Mill, Mill West, whatever. Woody Woo. I don't even watch it. Listen, I was crying, my nigga. Because the shit that they were saying to each other or whatever the fuck, like how it was, how it was coming out. It's like, damn. That shit hurt. I cry like a pussy. I didn't get, oh, I wasn't there to be, yeah, let's be seen. It was, yeah, let's bring Tifa and Kashawn back together. When I left, we was together. This shit happened while I was booked. I come home to all this pain. That shit really killing me inside because we used to all sleep in one bed at one point. So all this separation shit is really painful for me. But I'm strong, you feel me? Oh, I look cute with my nose ring. <laughs> hey, mama. Come in. No, but like, I'm not for the drama. I'm for love. I care about what my mom care. What my mom cares about. My mom, she don't want us to be. She wants us to all get along, be pretty, go to church, worship God, be happy, get money, work together. <coughs> My mom don't want this fuckery shit. Everybody wonder why she zoned out, taking all these pills, losing her mind. Her kids ain't listening and they all beefing. What you think wrong with mommy? See, I'm getting emotional talking about it. I got to shut up because I'm ready to start crying. Niggas wonder why mommy is how she is right now. But look at us. You feel me? We hurting her.
We hurt her bad. She carried all of us. And look at this fuck shit, my nigga. All over the world, my nigga. What you mean? Mommy throwing it back. She hurt. Yes. And even though my mom is in treatment right now and I'm so happy about it, guess what? What did we do as her children, right? While she was doing what she was doing as a mother, she getting herself clean and stuff. But what are we doing out here for when she come out to her kids? That she wants to be together and stop beefing. What did we do? Hmm. And my brother Eugene called me getting on my nerves yesterday. He had a nerve to say, you don't want the family together. Because he said all this stuff to me. I said, boy, stop calling me with that. Go call the other sisters. Like, don't tell me that. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody care. He said, you. Bitch, I'm the only sibling that want us all together. Even if it's someone saying they do. Is they putting in work or putting effort? No, I'll be the only one. I'm tired of getting hurt keep trying. I give up. Fuck it. But uh, there's so much I could get on here and say. Like, if I was to tell y'all all, all the shit that I go through and what I be doing for the family and what that be happening to me, huh, yeah. Yeah, y'all y'all don't want to see that. Y'all ain't even going to like people no more. Y'all going to be like, oh, shit. I don't tell the business. I'm not bragging about what I did. You see, I love hard. So you see me posting the family. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, oh, give you some roses. Love, love, love. You don't see me. Oh, such and such was locked up. I got him out of jail. I paid every two weeks for him to stay home. I slept in a room with him to keep him home and safe. Made sure he went off to where he at. Did I did I get on the internet and do that? No. There's a lot of shit I can do and say. And that motherfucker ungrateful and always hurting my feelings disrespecting me. And that's family. I go through hella shit. Do I get on here? There's a lot of shit that I did. I could speak on. With receipts. I don't do that. And I'ma stop now because by me talking a little bit like you know opening up some shit is coming out so i'm gonna stop but like what i'm trying to say is i don't do that weird shit i don't do that capping shit i don't cap i'm not a cap i stand on business and word is born i'm a woman of my word what i say i'm gonna do i'm gonna do i'm gonna stick to it i don't play games and i don't ever want somebody to do something that's evil and cruddy just for me to feel better. No. And all money, not good money. So guess what? I don't want the shit. If the only way I can get it is to bash family, to loot. And here's a few pictures Tessa posted along with this caption. And it said, watch how my God continues to bless us, touch not my anointed. And this is a, another picture Tessa posted on her page not so long ago of her and Tzatziki. So, like I said, with Chastity, I just feel like she's stuck in the middle. And she just hate having to choose a side, which she says she's not choosing a side. But that's all I have for y'all in this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it all in the comment section below. I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye. <laughs>